Garmin Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install and use Garmin Express. Garmin Express is a software tool used to update the maps and software on your Garmin devices. So the first thing we need to do is go to garmin.com forward slash express. So from here, if we scroll down under the download and install heading there, we've got a link to download for Windows and then slightly underneath there, we have a link to download for Mac. So I'm going to click this link and then I get presented with some instructions. So once I've the download starts, I should click save and then run and then install. My download hasn't started automatically, so I'm going to click there, restart the download. And from there, I'm going to click save and that will download and then run. So the first prompt we have here is to agree to the terms and conditions. You can read those later at your leisure. Um, we've got some installation options here if we like, such as the uh, root directory that it's going to install into. So I'm going to check that I've read the terms and conditions and click install. So next we arrive at this screen which says Garmin Express has been installed successfully. And we can click on this button here to launch Garmin Express. You'll note it's also appeared here in the uh, taskbar. So we click on the plus to add a device. Now it's asking us to connect the device to the computer. So I'm going to plug my Garmin Zumo 590LM into the uh, computer using a USB cable. So Garmin Express has found my Zumo and the next step I need to do is click add device. At this point in time you can register the device if you wish to. I've already registered so I'm going to skip this part. Next we can add a nickname for the device to make it easier to identify in Garmin Express. Uh, I'm just going to leave that as the device name there, Zumo 590. Finally, we have a request from Garmin to provide them with anonymous data usage to help them with their product development and so on. So you can choose yes or no for that. I'm going to click yes and click finish. And that completes the setup process. So now the Zumo is connected and set up, we can check for updates by clicking check for updates. So it's saying map and software updates are available and the estimated installation time is 1 hour and 56 minutes. If I click on view details, it will show me uh, some of the updates that are available that I can install. So there's a map update at the top there and then there's a software update and finally localization update at the bottom. So if I go back and just click install all, um, I have been prompted to accept the licensing agreements and next I need to click update. Now it's important when you're updating your device uh, specifically here that you do not unplug the device from the computer while the updates are in progress because this can damage the, uh, the device. Software updates are installed first and then we have to restart our Zemo after the updates to check that they've taken. Map updates come after software updates. So when we're ready and we're tired, we've got time and we're sure we can leave the device without it being interrupted, we can click continue. So now the software is downloaded and installed, the next step is to restart the Zumo. So the advice I have here is to unplug the device, power it on and wait for it to restart and then plug it back into the computer. So I'll go about doing that now. So I have advice on my device now, I've booted it up saying that the following updates were installed, a map update and a software update. So I click OK and now I will plug the uh, Zumo back into the computer. You see the uh, Garmin Express is now recognized as Zumo is plugged back in and is now preparing a, another map update. Maps can be very large, so sometimes they take a while to download, depending on the speed of your connection. So now the map update is complete. Now these updates are cumulative, so if you haven't updated your device for a while, it will cycle through um, several updates until the device is fully up to date. When the device is fully up to date, it will show a screen like this, which shows there are no further updates. One of the nice features of Garmin Express is that if you have it running in the background in the taskbar, which is the default setting, once you plug your Garmin device into the computer, it will automatically launch and check for updates as it's doing now. 
So there we go, it says we're up to date. So that's a convenient way to check for updates. So the additional features in Garmin Express are down at the bottom. So we've got tools, which says manage settings, view device details and get manuals. And then on the right here, we've got vehicles and voices where you can customize your device with free vehicles and voices from Garmin. So let's consider tools initially. So the top here, it tells you information about the device, such as the serial number and the current software version. And here's a link to register the device. So under the utilities tab, and we have the option to back up your device. It says here we automatically back up your favorites from time to time, but you can also back them up manually. So you can determine whether you'd like your favorites to be backed up manually and specify a location here for them to be backed up. If we check this box here, always back up favorites before performing updates. The uh, Garmin Express will back up your favorites before installing uh, software updates and so on. Under optional updates, we've got two selections here, language files and other files. So if we click under language files, you see you can install additional languages on your uh, your device. So if your native uh, tongue is perhaps something different like Dutch, you can select uh, the Netherlands there and um, install that on your, your device. Under other files, We've got uh, some vehicles, additional vehicles we can uh, install, and um, also some language files. Okay, the next heading here, we've got anonymous data collection. So that sends data on how you use the device to a uh, Garmin to help them with their product updates. I've got it checked because um, I selected that when I set up Garmin Express. I'm happy with that, but you can select or unselect it there. Finally, at the bottom here, we've got remove from Express. So using this option here, you can remove the current device from Garmin Express so it doesn't show up in the list. That would be worth doing perhaps if you no longer use the device or if you've given it to someone else or perhaps sold it. At the bottom of the screen, we have the heading device storage. This indicates how much of the memory on the device is currently being used. Once it goes above a certain level, it warns you advising you may wish to expand your memory to install larger maps. So moving back to the top, we can click on the help and manuals tab. Now, here we've just got links essentially to uh, online sites where it has um, information about your particular device. So if I was to click on installation instructions, that opens up a web browser with a link to the installation instructions PDF. There we have it now. There we go. So this will tell you how to um, install your Garmin on your, your device. I also have a video which explains how to do that. Okay, so going back to the uh, home screen, we've also got the option here for vehicles and voices. So if I click on that, it shows you a selection of vehicles, voices, and bundles, which you can send to your device. So perhaps if you're um, an aviation enthusiast, you might want to use this uh, 800 jet vehicle and use that as your navigation arrow. So on this drop down here, I can select what I would like to see in this list. So if I select vehicles, it will only show me vehicles. If I select voices, it will show me the voices that are available. So on here, we've got things like a squirrely voice and a Yeti voice. Um, you may be interested in those. Uh, it's not really my bag, to be honest. Um, and if I select down to bundles, um, this is a selection of group of things, if you like. So the Boo bundle may contain a uh, Boo navigation icon or a scary one and a scary voice, for example. Similar fashionista may have, uh, we click on the eye here, brings a runway to the highway with such great looking icons, you'll have style for miles, dress up your new V today and let everyone know that you've arrived. So it's essentially like a theme pack for your, uh, your device. Again, you may be into that, the options are there. So that's how to download, install and use Garmin Express and how to update your device with it and use some of the tools and vehicle and voice updates on there. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.